Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. We got a bit of fun today. We got a parallax section down below. If I scroll down, it's a full screen parallax section. Then we're going to have a bit of info, call to action, roll in as I keep scrolling down this section. It's going to disappear and we'll scroll out. Now this is CSS parallax, I'd call that fixed background, but either way, it's a fantastic effect. I'll show you how to do all this. No coding involved in this today at all. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder. Okay, once enabled, let's go down. I'll delete this section and we'll start from scratch. Little blue tab for the section, I'm going to hit the trash can. Okay, well, let's add a new section, little blue button to add a new section. I'm going to make it a regular section. Inside mine, I'm going to have a single column, single row. Obviously, you put in there whatever works for you. For mine today, I'm going to use a simple call to action. For my button, I'm going to say learn more. I'm going to call it parallax sections. And I'll demonstrate both parallax methods for you in a little while. I've got a little bit of blurb about parallax. Let's put that in too. Wait. So I'm not going to do too much more of this. I'll put a little background in there. We may jazz it up a little bit later on. Just want it so we can see it. I'll take that away. So when we put our image background in, we can see through it a little bit, see through the image. Great. Well, there we have it. Now I'm going to go back into the section and we'll put in our little image that we're going to use. Again, blue tab for a section. Background's always under content. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to use a background image today. You can blend some of these together and I'll demonstrate that in a second too. Let's put that background image in. And I think I used that one. Great, and if we roll down a bit from the image, I'll just demonstrate the two different methods of parallax for you. You've got to switch the parallax effect button on. So go from no to yes. And you might have seen that just change. At the moment, we've got a true parallax. And what parallax means is the background here is moving at a different rate from our foreground. Let's just save that. If I roll down now, you should see that effect there. And that's great. That's what I call true parallax, and that's what they call true parallax too. They've got another version called CSS parallax, if we go back in there. It's the one I use today. Background image. Switch it from true parallax to CSS parallax. Let's save that again. And what you'll notice this time is the background is actually remaining where it is. They're calling it parallax, I guess, because that's two things moving at different rates. <laughs> Anyway, I like that. That's pretty dramatic. That's what we're going to use today. But as I mentioned earlier, you can blend colors and gradients with your backgrounds if you want to for more dramatic effects. If we go back in there, back to the background again, I'm going to go into the image. I'm going to turn the parallax off for this because it won't work with parallax. Let's put a color in perhaps, and you can do this for the gradient. You can also add a background pattern or a background mask, but I'll just show you how to blend these two. Let's choose a purple. We'll go back to the image. It doesn't look like anything has changed, but actually we can go down here. Background image blend. And you can multiply it with the image. You can get some wonderful effects doing that. And they really do have some great presets. Anyway, we're not doing that today. Just wanted to point that out to you. So I'm going to go back in there. I'm going to use my parallax effect. As you can see, that colors disappeared when we put that back on. And I'm happy with the CSS. Great. Well, that's the first bit done. But I want this section to be full screen. To make it full screen, I'm going to go back into the section. And to make this full height, which is what I'd like today, we can go over to our design tab. Sizing. If we roll down, we've got height there. I'm going to type in 100 VH for viewable height. And that's actually made our section 100% of the viewable height of whatever 
we're viewing it on. That's perfect. But I'd like the content to be in the middle. And there's a couple of ways we can do this. One with code, one without. So if we go down to spacing below, I'm going to put padding in the top, but instead of using a pixel value, I'm going to use a percentage. And uh, let's try sort of 15%, 15 and the percent sign. And that's popped it down. That's pretty much in the middle. That actually works well for me. But the other way to do it with a bit of code is if I take that away and you don't have to use this. So I wasn't lying earlier when I said there's no coding. This is just another option for you and it's really useful to know. If we go down to our custom CSS under our advanced tab, in the main element, I'm going to say display, code on flex. And that's put it right in the middle of our section there too. So there's two options for you. I'll take this away. We'll put it back on the 15%. I'll put this little bit of code down below the video for anybody who'd like to use it. So back to design, back down to spacing and 15%, wasn't it? There we go. Great. Well, the next little thing I wanted to happen was I really didn't want to see that until we were about halfway up the page, sort of about here. And then I'd like it to fade in, perhaps stick to the top. And then when we get to the bottom, fade back out again. And all of this we can do again without code. So let's save our section, presuming we're happy with it. I'm fine with that. And I'm going to actually do this in the module itself. We go into the module over to the advanced, and this is common to all modules, rows and sections. Right at the bottom, you'll find scroll effects. Well, I want mine to fade out. So there's the fade right there. We've got several options here and we've done several videos on these before. Enable fading in and out. OK, I want to start off invisible. If I roll down now, you should see it fading out, but I don't really want to see it until it gets to about here. So I'll say 100 percent at, say, we'll try 40 percent. And I want it to stay at 100 percent. All I'm doing is clicking on these little circles here and dragging them to where I want. I want it to stay visible to about 80 percent. And then at 90%, let's make it, oh, at 100%, at let's try making it invisible by taking that back to 0%, which is the opacity, the amount you can see of it. So now when I scroll down, it should disappear. Yeah, it's still coming in too quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust where the zero is. I'm just going to grab the bar, left click on it and drag it. I'm going to keep it invisible to maybe 30%. Now let's try that. That's a bit better. And that's entirely up to you. We could up it to 50 and 40 for more drama. But you can get some great effects. So we're scrolling down. It's coming in. And it's disappearing. But I want to make it sticky too. So we'll save that. I could do it in... The module but i'm actually going to go into the row to make this happen i'm going to go over to advanced down to scroll effects here i'm going to say from do not stick to stick to top pair roll up now it's sticking to the top and disappearing there and bottom sticky limit i want it to stop sticking when it gets to the bottom of here which is fine it's actually faded out but we don't want it going past the bottom of here really so bottom sticky limit I'm going to say section. And if we roll back up, that works fine. And just to finish off, let's go back into our module. We'll make this slightly more interesting. We'll go to design. We've got no button on there. I'm just going to add a link that'll make the button show up. Obviously, if you want a link to wherever you need to take yours. I'm going to put a hashtag in there. Once I do that, the button will show up there. Great. I'm going to go over design now. Let's give it a bit of a border. I'm going to curve the corner slightly. Let's give it 30 pixels. I'm going to give it a one pixel white border. And for a bit of fun, we'll give it a bit of box shadow. This one right here. But let's 
Give it a strange colour, maybe purple. Well, that's okay. Let's just leave it at white. That works fine. Great. Let's save our changes here. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And exit the visual builder. And here we are. There's our little parallax section coming into view at the bottom. If I scroll down. Our info is going to come in there. People can go over, read it, stop it. Hit the button if they want to. Keep on scrolling. And it's going to fade out after it sticks to the top there. And it'll do the opposite on the way back out. And that's a great eye-catching effect to have on your site. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.